do it, box. You good? Yeah. Yeah. That's right. You heard correctly. My name is Ambrose Yuden. That's right. Let me just get that out of the way. <laughs> just start there. I was on Facebook the other day, though. I saw these ladies giving themselves these sexy little fiddle. You know those middle names always fiddle names? Sexy little middle names on Facebook. Do you see that? Adam, do you also have a sexy middle name? Yeah. <laughs> no, I saw the other day. I saw this girl. Her name was Carmen. You know, keeps it real, Abram. <laughs> keeps it real all the time. That's my heart to keep it real all the time, you know? So I tried also changing my middle name on Facebook. I tried changing it to Ambrose, always fresh urine. <laughs> I should have just kept it real, I should have. I just not did nothing, you know? It's right, I'm from Cape Town. It's right, Cape Town right here? No one? That's all right. It's fine. It's the end of the month, Sunday. We're not expecting Catonians. It's all right. It's fine. No, I'm, I'm guys, you know, I grew up in Mitchell's Plain and Bonteville, on the Cape Flats. You guys know where that is? No. Like, a lot of people hear that and they go, shit, this guy must be the most dangerous guy in this room. But no, it's not, it's not the point, you know. The point is that I learned to appreciate the small things in life. That's growing up in the ghetto. You learn to appreciate the small things in life. For my first birthday, my father made me a cake. It was a special cake. It was the shape of a house, right? But it wasn't like a fresh cream or nothing like that. Because you know? we couldn't afford the fresh cream at the time, you know? So it was, the frame was cardboard, right? It was like a cardboard frame, shape of a house, you know? But then my father went out of his way. He put like a icing sugar. You know icing sugar? Put like a icing sugar on the outside, you know? That's paint on the walls of the house, you know? Then he put zoo biscuits on the side, licorice all sorts, you know, as bricks. I didn't have a little wafer door, you know. I was pumping, you know, the roof had more icing sugar on the top on both sides, you know. Smarties and jelly tots had a little a licorice all sorts chimney with smoke coming out, but it wasn't obviously real smoke, it was icing sugar. Because we had a lot of time. There was just a lot of icing sugar. It was a bit weird when we had to cut it, because we had to cut it with a scissor. <laughs> Is, 
it's not as simple as you think. Because you have to taste and you have to, you know, you do this. Spit it out. Spit it out. And then, they did the, you know, the guy was doing that. He was going through the whole thing, you know. And then after, and then, but then you have to say what you're tasting, you know. So he, what am I tasting? Yes. Oh, yes, there's some oaks and rich mahoganies and sunshine and freedom. And they were going crazy. They were going crazy. They were going in. Oh, I feel so free right now. produced because you have to ask that what year was this wine produced and then the guy says oh, no that what you drinking is a 1972 Shiraz and then the couple oh 72 how do you remember 72 you know we went on a cruise we were in the ticket wasn't lovely it was good times and now I'm next I must follow that <laughs> And they play karakara, you know? You know karakara, you know? And they play karakara. 
And then that part came on, and this was shocked me because the white boys they started singing. You know that part? You can take me out of the ghetto, but you can't take the ghetto out of me. Let me just go, let me just go.